In this video, I'm going to talk about a tool called as Fluent UI Theme Designer. Now, Fluent UI Theme Designer is basically a free tool available in the internet, which will allow you to generate a style sheet based on your choosing of color and scheming. Now, what is a Fluent UI Design System? So Fluent UI Design System is a design system developed by Microsoft in the year 2017. And then from that point onwards, Microsoft has started uh, uh, building those UI components and then started integrating into the product set. Now, as you see over here, this website developer.microsoft.com slash ENUS Fluent UI, it gives you a uh, basic introduction about the UX frameworks for creating the cross-platform apps that share code design and interaction behavior. So the whole purpose of Fluent UI design is that it is built for one platform and then it is consumed by all and it is throughout very consistent. Now it makes use of React to build up the styles, controls, uh, and there and there are various components available for web, Windows, and iOS platform. And even we have something for Android, Mac OS as well. So uh, you can navigate into individual React styles and then start getting uh, more information about the colors, elevation, iconography, uh, layout, motion, uh, typography, and so on. Uh, React uh, has whole build of library. Um, so Fluent UI React V9, uh, it talks about themes, colors, fonts, motion, and even it talks about separate controls like say accordion or breadcrumb uh, or uh, many other things. So uh, all the codes are directly available. You can use easily use this code. Uh, there is a new Fluent 2 you user interface so uh, it, it talks about various guidelines design languages and extract various components like the badges accordion so these all things are basically uh, currently utilized by microsoft products now uh, what is this fluent ui theme designer so fluent ui theme designer if you want to access it you can type in the url ak.ms slash theme designer Now this tool will allow you to design the theme. So just to start with, you have this primary color. So primary color, so if you want your buttons to be uh, with this blue primary color, then you can select blue or maybe you can select your own color. So if I select say something in orange brown shade, Okay, so I've selected the primary color. And then if you see here, the radio button, the check boxes and the button and then the tap, uh, underline all those things get converted into orange color then there's a text color so if you uh, want to have the text in some different color so i'm just making up some color which may not look good but uh, you need to decide how your branding or theming should appear for your particular application so for text color i've selected say something red uh, you can even type in the uh, hex code here as well so if you want to make some minor modification you can even do that so I'll just make this something like two, okay. Uh, background color, now the background color, I can even select uh, some light background. So if I select something on cyan, I can get this done, okay. So this is how you select the primary color, text color, background color. Uh, and this is how it will uh, mostly look, how your menu will look like, okay. Now, if you closely observe, this is somewhat closely related to SharePoint okay and there are many modern control which uses similar kind of an interface so maybe power apps or uh, power uh, power apps uh, canvas apps model driven apps sharepoint related ui so all those things if you're building any custom app this particular theme designer will help you generate the themes now as you see over here in the bottom it gives you a nice um, look for this accessibility checker so the color which you select not necessarily will uh, map with the uh, accessible component uh, which is required uh, to make your website uh, or your application compatible uh, with the accessibility standard now uh, it will give you a non-accessible pair and it will give you accessible pair so in my case this is not uh, currently accessible so you may need to tweak your color in such a way that uh, this becomes quite accessible for uh, people with uh, uh, limited abilities to read the content within your website okay so so this is how you basically generate a theme and also there is a fabric palette slots and semantic slots so these are some of the 
I'll say classes, which gets called uh, when a page gets rendered uh, within your application or your uh, website. Now there is a theme dark, uh, theme dark, theme dark alt, uh, and there's a corresponding hex code based on the color selection we did. Now this will all change depending on how we select the color code. So if I select something like this, then all this color code will change. Now these are some of the things which is quite important which will help us in building the ui or the theme for say example say sharepoint site right uh, and then there is a semantic slot so in semantic slot uh, you'll see the body background the body frame background primary button text input background and how the tones are like whether it's none whether it's neutral whether it's soft whether it's strong uh, so all this uh, things get rented over here now you can also see how the hyperlinks will look like the menu icon menu header how the buttons will look like so button has various component like link hovering input icon hovered uh, body frame divider variant border body divider all these things uh, and also looking from an input control so you have primary button text disabled if the text is disabled how it will look like if there is a variant body hovered disabled text how the body text will look like so body text is primarily about the neutral primary color so i can make the body text look like to be in a black color okay so if you see in the inputs uh, then all this color will get uh, changed to black color right and this is how you basically control the theming for this particular for any particular application so list and then there is there are further things on menus as well so list menus but inputs buttons links uh, and then by de and then the defaults which gets applied to the entire uh, section of your page now what are you going to do with this okay you have built this how do we make use of it so there is an option you can click on export theme on the top so if you click on export theme it will give you a nice bit of output of whatever color selection which you have done okay now here it says this code block creates the themes you have configured above using the create theme utility function calling load theme with this theme will automatically apply the configured theme so there are three different outputs one is code so you can use this code so this is basically uh, a variable const uh, my theme equal to create theme and then it will render down all the palettes what you have selected it will also give you a json output so if you directly want the json output to be used for any of the uh, platform then you can use that and also there is a powershell so in powershell again same thing but then it will come with an at the rate so where do we use this so uh, i'm not going to demonstrate this i'll demonstrate this in my next video but then just to show you how it will be implemented in say sharepoint okay so in sharepoint uh, you can uh, uh, put various themes uh, for your particular website now this is a website uh, which i have uh, used to build some application and then here i have applied some themes so under settings if you click on settings then there is an option called as change the look so if you go to change the look there is theme now here theme uh, i can select various themes to make my application look different right now there is a, there are theme from microsoft and then there is a selected theme okay now there is no way where i can add those themes so how do we make use of that theme so there is a way in sharepoint uh, whereby you write a powershell whereby you give this powershell code which has this variable which basically acts as a theme uh, pattern or palette and then you take that palette and then uh, this particular theme will appear over here so take for example you create a girish theme then this theme uh, will get created over here so you can create as many themes as you want so this particular tool will help you basically to generate those themes which i'm going to cover in my upcoming videos so that's it for this is all about fluent ui theme designer this is a tool which will help you generate the theme it allows you to view the accessibility component as well so that whenever you uh, build your palette of colors then uh, make sure that it is uh, accessible so that it follows all the accessibility guidelines for the website and specifically for an application and you can instantly see the preview of what is changing within the screen uh, and then make a clear choice of how you want the ui to be displayed so that's it folks this is all about fluent ui theme designer thanks for watching